Happy 29th ADA. I'm here to tell you what ADA means to me. It means freedom. I can live in the community, I can work in the community, and I can play in the community just like everyone else. Freedom. ADA. And now I want to um, ask some of my friends to tell you what it means to them. Thanks. What does the ADA mean to you? It's the American Dental Association. They're the ones who approve of toothpaste. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Why don't you ask it again? I was totally kidding. <laughs> what does the ADA mean to you? Oh, the ADA is incredibly important. The ADA means that our society is saying we're going to do better for, for people with disabilities. Um, it hasn't been perfect. The, when it was first passed, then every bad, I shouldn't say that, but every bad lawyer in the world or in the country started trying to figure out how to chip away at it, and it's had to be built back up, and people have to fight for it every day. But the ADA is a promise, and it's, it's something that folks with disabilities can, can show people and say, you can't do that. And so it's a tool, it's a tool to use against people who, who want to discriminate or who just don't want to work as hard as they should to include everybody. What does ADA mean to you? Well, to me, it's, it's our civil rights law. It opened up opportunity. It made me rethink employment and what my rights are. And I studied harder than anything in the history that I can imagine trying to make sure that I knew that when they're talking about employment, that was the biggie for me, because I was having trouble finding employment, was that um, I was the right person for the job with the supports that I need. So that's what it did for me. How about you? Helped you to go for your job, yeah. so yours was employment too. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. 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 Get a house. Is that what you said? Yeah. Did I get that right? Yeah. Uh, and a wife. Yeah. Oh, or a life. Did you get a wife or a life? No. You wanted both. So maybe yeah. the ADA will help us with the wife question too. Yeah. Someday. Yeah. Okay. So it helped him get a life. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what does the ADA mean to you? So the Americans with Disabilities Act, it's hard to just place the meaning in words. Because some of what the ADA means to me is in my heart. It is about the promise of people with disabilities to live their lives in freedom and in concert with everyone else. It, it says to me that people with disabilities should not be discriminated against, that people with disabilities um, have to have the same rights as everyone else that lives in society. I always joke with people, and your audience probably knows Justin Dart, I always joke with people, especially my former bosses, that I want to be the Hispanic gay 
uh, Justin Dart because I love our uh, disability leaders of the past, but they're mostly Caucasian. And I feel like we as the disability community need to start embracing different um, identities uh, of disability and learn from those identities. Uh, there's a lot of leadership in the Hispanic and LGBTQ community that I think we as the disability community can learn from. And when I when I lead or when I practice leadership, I practice, I pull practices from the LGBT and Hispanic communities and put them with my disability uh, knowledge and, and try to bring all those identities forward. So that's a long way of saying that I think the disability community needs to be more inclusive, meaning inclusive just bringing other people up uh, from different backgrounds. And maybe someday you will be Justin Dark. I had the privilege of meeting Justin and I know that he, that Justin is in your reach to be. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. What does preserve mean? Preserve means to keep something to make sure that it doesn't go away. So when we say we want to preserve our rights, um, there are people who don't necessarily believe in, in disability rights or may believe in disability rights but not appropriate the kind of money that we need through laws. And so we want to make sure that none of that goes away. And particularly now that we're living in a country where there's a lot of very harsh differing opinions, we want to make sure that the rights of people with disabilities remain in place and expand, and that the services and supports that come about because of those rights not only stay but reach more people and reach people in the way that people want to live and want to use supports, not things imposed on, on us. And we have a very tragic history in our, our, that affects the people we care about of institutionalization, of lack of help for families. And so we want to make sure that the clock doesn't get turned back to those days um, and that people can continue to have lives that they want in the community and that we can all belong together. Thank you. In what way are civil, human, and disability rights are connected? So disability rights are civil rights, disability rights are human rights. Uh, they're, these rights are deeply connected. And um, in the work at the Leadership Conference on Civil and Human Rights, we view disability rights as a core part of a human rights and a civil rights agenda. And when you say core, you're talking about major rights. Yeah, and they're, they're central to the ability to live free from discrimination, to live full lives, to live out fully in, um, in, in the community. And so um, disability rights are fundamental to civil and human rights. And if we did it, we had to dance. We gotta dance real quick. Oh yeah, we did it. Oh yeah, we did it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah.